Yo, what's good guys? This is Nightwing2303 from Wartesters.com. Got some pretty dope pickups in today. We got two sneaker box coat boxes. I don't know what's in here, what the themes are, but we are going to find out real quick. And then I also picked up this overpriced monstrosity. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into it. So we'll open up this one first. So it's got a happy holidays note in there. It also has a breakdown of what's included. So premium sneaker laces by lacedupplaces.com. High quality lace locks by stayschemingsco.com. Sorry if I butchered that. An exclusive design of the Air Jordan 8 Retro Chrome. And these are insoles by Foot Cam canvas.com that sounds interesting and then an exclusive colorway uh, retro 6 maroon art print by line soul so let's go ahead and just check out all these things so we got some laces here tiffany colored uh, these are from that laced up laces and they're also 3m reflective as well so if you dig laces there you go. Okay, this this is the Stay Scheming Lace Lock accessory. This is actually pretty legit. Let me open this up. This is the Bulls uh, logo with like a Mars Blackman vibe to it. And this is from Stay Scheming Co. Dot com. So go ahead and check them out. I don't know if they like allow you to custom create these things or not. This is the first time I've ever heard of them, but there it is. It's it's a Bulls and Mars Blackman type logo, and this goes at the bottom of your laces. This is the thing that I think is really interesting. They're insoles, and I think that's kind of weird. So footcanvas.com, you can custom design your own insoles. And there's also a code for 15% off if you wanted to try it out. So there's the code right there. If you're interested, go ahead and check them out. And these are some uh some insoles that well, they they kind of feel kind of good they're a little rubbery so non-slip but also have some cushion in them and then they got a uh they're pretty wide so you're probably gonna have to line these up with your current insoles and then trim them a little bit but uh they're supposed to match with your air jordan 8 chromes the black and chromes that just released so this is what they look like right here not bad you can see the uh the sneaker box co companies uh, logo on there as well, so it, they seem pretty comfortable. So that's pretty cool though that you can custom design your own insoles now. Uh, for those of you that that do restorations or customize your sneakers, this could be something dope to like give it that extra pop. And if you just like this kind of stuff, then check them out. All right, so the last thing in this box is that retro six art print, and this is pretty dope. This is uh, this is stuff that I actually like. Not that I don't like the insoles, it's just it's something I would never think about doing for myself. But buying sneaker art, I think this is dope. And there it is. Air Jordan 6 uh, Maroons. I actually have the shoe. I really like wearing it. So sneaker art for it. Not a big deal to me. I think this is sick. Let's check out what's inside the second box. This one's a little bit heavier, so maybe there's some better stuff in there. I don't know. It's kind of like Christmas. Oh wait, it is. So we got some, some crew socks from Shirts and Skins. So they're basketball socks. There you go. I don't know what this design is on the back, but you know. Whatever, kind of like Nike Elite-ish. Palette pencils. And this is to go with the sneaker palette book. Sneaker drawing journal. This is pretty dope. For those of you that don't know, I actually used to draw like a lot. Like not sneakers or anything. I didn't design anything. I used to draw comic book characters and panels and things like that. And that was originally what I wanted to do uh, when I was younger. I wanted to be a, a comic book artist. And um, so I had bigger books than this. They were big black books. And they were just filled up with white pages. And you just sit there and just draw in them. So if you're into sneakers, this is a little bit more of a portable book than the giant black books that I used to have. And uh, they got pencils and the booklet itself. So you could put all your sketches in there and uh, bring it with you just in case you ever meet a designer or somebody over at Nike or whatever or Adidas or whatever it might be. Whip out the book and be like, yo, dude, look what I can do. This is actually legit. I think this is dope. They got some more, more laces from uh, Laced Up Laces. These ones are actually white and gold and then they have gold aglets. There you go, pretty sick. So those were pretty legit, but let's get into the kicks now. I know that this is what you guys are really excited for, right? Right? So most people's reason for buying the pack, the Foam Posit Pro. I'm not a huge Foam Posit guy. This is one of the dopest colorways though that they've come out with, especially in quite a while. This is the Classic 97 pack. This is not quite the He Got Game pack. Even though if you've been doing this for a minute, you can make it the He Got Game pack real quick. But what this is actually paying homage to is Nike's own innovation on the Nike Zoom technology. So what they've done is they've packed up one of their first full length Zoom models, which is the Foam Posit or Foam Posit Pro, whichever one you want to consider came first. I'm pretty sure the actual one cent version or the penny version came first but you know who cares and then they paired it up with the hawk flight this was my reason for buying the pack i f love this shoe i've wanted it since i was in like seventh grade and i've never had a pair and this is my first one it sucks that i had to buy these just to get it but like i said this is a dope colorway so it's not all bad but i mean come on man that was a dick move nike that was a dick move but anyways back to the foams full length zoom 
super comfortable model. I did not, you know, play basketball in this shoe because I played in the uh, other version, the, the Foam Posit Pro. Or no, this is the Pro, Foam Posit 1. And they're essentially the same exact shoe. Everything's exactly the same. The cushion, the tech specs, all that stuff. The only thing that's different is the outsole pattern. These have more of a, a potted a herringbone traction, whereas the, the Foam Posit 1 is just full-length herringbone. Personally, I don't think either one's going to make too much of a difference because the shoe's so damn stiff that... You know what I mean? Like, it's not like you're going anywhere in these things anyways. At least not at my size. But like I said, it's a dope looking shoe. I'm glad that they're not wet or glossy looking. The people that are referring this pack to uh, the movie He Got Game is because Ray Allen wore both of these actual models in the movie. It was Denzel that wore the 13s. Pops was big pimping back then, you know what I'm saying? Even with that ankle brace, man. Dude was legit. But uh, yeah, so Ray wore these, but they were actually the pearls. This is not quite a pearl foam posit. This is like a straight up like white on white on white foam posit. There ain't nothing pearl about these joints right here but uh, I do think that these look cool because the pearls got more of like a creamy look to it and this is just that stark white I think it looks ultra legit I love the the black and the red on the shoe I think they're sick I think that this line right there would have been super sick if it was red going all the way up to the pull tabs so that's a small nitpick they fit true to size as well so you know whatever size you normally wear that's what I would go with and I just think that these look really great again I'm not a huge foam posit fan there's only a handful of colorways that I actually like uh, the foam posit pro as a model in general I do like over the foam Posit 1 because the swoosh is there. I feel like it breaks up the craziness of the model itself. The models, honestly, it's ugly, but it's so ugly that it looks good. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's one of those weird, like, yo, it was way ahead of its time and even in 2015, these still look like future shoes, dude. Like, you can't tell me that. You look at this and you're like, yo, are those space boots? For real. They were way the hell ahead of their time. Air Gavar, you kick some real serious ass with this one. But like I said, this is the shoe that I really wanted. If you hold each of these in one of each of your hands, you can tell with the foam posit are straight boots and these these are made for flight now these don't look exactly like the originals I mean the overall look is just like the originals but the original pair had actual paneling on them so this uh, where you see the seam right here the piping actually went all the way down on both sides and then this was an overlay panel of leather or new box same with on this side this was an underlay panel and then you had more overlays on top of course Nike being Nike they got it just f with greatness even though they were the ones that created the greatness in the first place they still got to mess with their own sh I don't really I don't understand Understand that but they did it and you know it doesn't look horrible I just would have preferred the original look but you still you gotta love them man the hawk flights man hawk flights these are sick as far as tech specs you got a super duper lightweight file on midsole these things feel awesome on foot yeah herringbone they actually put carbon fiber back on the shoe I mean yo with the past retros like the the gloves those originally had carbon fiber too and they did not put those on the retros they put on some plastic shit. they did it with the Jumpman pros they did it with all kinds of sneakers man so the fact that they actually like we're like yo for real we're gonna do this one almost legit again they messed up on the toe but I can forgive you just because you put that carbon fiber back on there nice but anyways you got that carbon fiber there herringbone very similar to the actual foam posit pros look where it's the potted uh, sections of herringbone you have a four foot zoom unit as well as a heel zoom unit and then you have this gigantic holographic piece these things used to get scuffed up like crazy from people that would hoop in them again I never had a pair I was just a, a big admirer but uh, this pair I got and I'm gonna play in them I don't know if I'm gonna performance review them or not just because you know not all shoes need an actual performance review some people are legit not into certain sneakers like like retros the zoom zoom fly 95s or whatever was like the last like nostalgic shoe that i got uh, from nike basketball or nike sportswear i did play in them and when i was done i gave them away to a friend of mine that really wanted a pair back in the day or he originally had a pair back in the day he really wanted another pair that same colorway so i gave them to him and i didn't review them because honestly nobody's buying them things to play basketball in so it'd just be a waste of my time the reason why i like to play in them is because a i've always wanted to be I can't help myself I'm just curious and see these designs are fresh you can't deny it they're super fresh they look way better than any of the crap that comes out today but yeah man look at that extra padded tongue extra padded collar look at that look at them sidewalls Ooh. We stitchy game on point piping was almost flawless they needed to bring that right back down at the toe though and then that traction boy sexy oh and in case you wanted to up close look at that jewel piece on the side there you go hit it from the back one time and bring it to the foams looking good looking good jeweled air on the tongue white landing strip once again stitchy game on point again I really love the upper on this one it's not glossy it's not wet it's not metallic it's not silvery it's not tampon it's not weatherman it's none of that stuff it's just clean simple white fresh that's how you do it that's what foam posits were they were so loud but the colorways were so simple that it just worked out beautifully so there you go guys this is my opinions or thoughts pick up review whatever it is you want to call it on the class of 97 pack horrendously overpriced 
but this was worth it for me at least i mean if i was trying to save some money personally i would just wait wait it out find it on ebay or clearance the pack itself is sitting so they're going to go on clearance eventually a lot of the people that were just trying to buy the pack just for this they're trying to flip this real quick on ebay and just shoot them an offer dude be like yo i'm gonna pay you no more than 70 dollars for these and the dude might actually say get fine nobody wants them except for you so there you go but yeah like i said i just didn't mind spending the money just because I, I really wanted a pair i wanted a pair now i didn't want to wait sometimes i could be impatient because i am so curious i just want to get out there and play in a damn pair and again these are just these are clean man you can rock these no problem no matter how funky phone posits look this pair <sighs> fresh so thank you guys for watching thanks for all your support Stay tuned, we got some more upcoming content both on weartesters.com and this channel as well. My top performance picks of 2015 are also coming up. Maybe it might be a Christmas present, who knows? But let me know what you guys think of the shoes, the pack, the sneaker box, coat boxes, all that kind of good stuff, the custom insoles down below in the comment section below. So until next time guys, have a good one.